All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all. I apologize today, I could not uh, make it at 4.30. However, we will just share with you a short video about the news of the Muslim uh, Summit. You see that uh, what uh, what happened, as we know, that Trump he announced Jerusalem to be uh, the place where the USA embassy should be. And the Muslims, supposedly, they want to show the world that they are really strong and uh, they are united. Uh, so uh, the usual, uh, uh, you know, uh, dancing in this case of uh, party, uh, that those who uh, shout too much in order to get the attention and to claim that they are the one who defend the rights of what is called the rights of Muslims in Jerusalem. Now we see in the screen, uh, this is a website, it's called Vow News. I don't know what news is that, but I just searched on the internet. And it's written by Dorian Jones. All right, I don't know really who is this uh, website, but it doesn't matter really for us. The Muslims, they decide to meet an urgent meeting of 57 nations. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, notice here, there's, those are not all Muslims. There's many uh, who attend this uh, summit, who they are member of the Islamic Council, whatever they call it, uh, but they are not Muslims. As an example, one of those stupid idiots who was there, uh, the president of Lebanon, and he is a Lebanese Christian. So when they say a nation, doesn't mean those are all Muslims. However, uh, the Muslims, they met, and as we see, it's 57, uh, representative from many countries some of them they are uh, let us say uh, president some of them they are just a bunch of potatoes however at the end of the day all of them they are potatoes and in this short video I'm going to explain to you why I say that all of them are potatoes as an example the one who hate Israel very much the one who curse Israel the one who make speeches in the front of the Muslims about Israel the land of terrorism Israel is the Israeli are bad etc he is number one, or his country and his government are number one country who have a strong relationship with Israel. Not only that, they have even military agreements and they buy weapons from Israel. And not only that, they buy gas and oil from Israel. And not only that, they have the flag of Israel in the middle of Ankara and not only that Israeli they can fly to Turkey without even um, a visa so what does that mean that's mean they are not only acknowledging the state of Israel they are having relationship with it they are in bed with it and they kiss the shoes of the Jews and they cannot make them upset so what was those speeches about like Israel the land of terrorism and blah, blah, blah. If this guy, Erdogan, if he is not a show guy, show this guy is a show time. You know, he liked it's a, it's a, the same as when he uh, before the election he told the Muslims in Turkey that he saw a dream that he is entering Jerusalem. So the Muslims they start copying a video that Erdogan is going to free Jerusalem from the from the from the Jews. You know, Allah hate the Jews, right? But this is the land of the Jews anyway. And let us see if you Allah can can free it from what you call occupation. So he told them about a dream and you know those Muslims are very emotional they are very uh, they are dumb whatever the, the word dump mean so he played with their emotional and this is what all the summit is about everyone in the front of his people he want to show them that I did something okay president what you did to protect our uh, our beloved holy city which obviously it's a big fat lie Muslims have nothing to do with it so they will say okay did you hear my speech did you hear my speech? I called the Jews names. I told we condemn Israel. We told them what we condemn America. Okay, how many of them, those who debark like dogs, they are willing to cut their relationship with America because of a Trump? I want to see one of them. Who is the one of them, the hero, is going to close, at least, at least, close the embassy? At least. I mean, be brave. Close an embassy is exist in your country. At least one of them, Close the embassy of Israel in your country. Qatar have embassy. Uh, 
uh, they have relationship and they have embassy uh, the Saudi they are contacting with the with the uh, the Egyptian they have an embassy uh, you know I mean Turkey there is many uh, Uzbekistan you, you name it so all most of them they have embassies in Israel and Israel have an embassy with them but what they do they just do shout and etc but they cannot do anything this is why I call it the barking summit it's just a bunch of dogs they are coming here to bark and to make themselves as if they are doing something but none of them dare to do anything so what is the point of this uh, summit what, why what exactly what you accomplish right now you know uh, 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 Jerusalem is the land of the, the, the Muslims since when none of you is even an Arab <laughs> you know just to show you for those dumb stupid Democrat who they hate Israel why the Muslims even meeting 57 countries as they claim against the Jews is it this is against occupation or against the Jews obviously the summit all of it is Islamic and only dumb stupid people will not see that this is a religious war this is a holy war in Israel. Why 57 Islamic nations they are meeting together? This is what they call it Islamic summit. Huh? This summit will contain who? 50 Islamic 57 Islamic nations, as even the, the news is saying. The Islamic Conference OIC. So all the members is those members in the Islamic summit. And as I said, there's some of them, they are just potatoes there. They are members in the Islamic summit, but they are not really Muslims and the country is not a Muslim country. However, the summit is Islamic What make this an Islamic Issue unless it is a war of religion unless this is a jihad against the Jews Why 57 countries from 57 languages they are gathering together against a small tiny state it's called Israel this is not against Trump this is against the Jews none of them they are even to fort at America this potato Erdogan he have the embassy of Israel he have the ambassador there he have relationship he have army uh, uh, consultant he buy weapon from Israel uh, Israeli go without visas and you know they they, they invest in Israel I mean they, and the Israeli invest in Turkey too so what this summit is about exactly it is a summit of hate and barking all of those who they are gathering there they are gathered under the hate process we hate the Jews as simple as that all what they are saying to the world all of us we are united by hate against the Jews but all of us we hate each other too none of those who live in this room they they like each other the Muslims they kill each other and they hate each other and they do conspiracy against each other as we speak this filthy Erdogan who is a dictator who is speaking about terrorism he himself is a terrorist he have more than 2,000 journalists in jail 2,000 Thousands of teachers, thousands of judges, more than 20,000 soldiers in jail. His country is a big jail. Make an article, post something in Facebook or in Twitter, you will be jailed immediately. And yet he is speaking against Israel. So this is the summit of hate and we all of us we should stand with the, with, the, with, the, with the Israeli and make them believe that they are not alone and they will never be alone they will never be alone because we know all of us what this is all is about this is not about a city this is about hate crimes against the Jews they hate the Jews they hate the Christians they hate the Hindus they hate the Buddhas and we know it all Nothing unite the Muslims except hate. So all of us as a Christians, and even if you are not a Christian, 
you see those people they believe we will take you one by one so if they take the Jews they will take you next if they can take the Jews then you will be the next the coming target right now they are busy with the Jews think about this if the Muslim destroy Israel what is next accomplishment the Muslims will do do you think they will seek peace Just to make it simple for you if we go right now and we check the the map of islamic invasion you will see all the invasion happened when the state of israel wasn't exist the state of israel my friend was not exist when erdogan himself in this land this is not his land he himself is an occupation few hundred years ago this filthy his nations they invade Constantinia, and this is a christian land they kill all the Christians there, and now there's less than one percent of the Christians. Where well, what happened? Imagine the whole country was a Christians. What happened? The Jews they say they invade. How come there's Muslims? Why the Jews did not kill all the Muslims the same as the Turkish killed all the Christians and the Armenian? The Turkish they invade our land they kill us and they rape our women and they take the land and they do ethnic cleansing and then they give you speeches about terrorism when they are the biggest nation of terrorism and they killed from Armenia alone a million and a half and we will take Turkey back this is not their land this is our land Time will come and you will see. But for now, we have an obligation and we have a duty to do. And the Muslims, they can bark as much as they want and they can shout as much as they want and they can make speeches as much as they want. Jerusalem will never be in your hand again. Don't even think about it. For many reasons. Number one, it's not yours. You yourself, you're an occupation. Number two, even your Quran confirmed that. Chapter 5, verse 21. Even Allah, the God of the, 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 the Abdul, confirmed that this is the land of the Jews. Not a single statement in the whole religion of Islam mentioned Palestinians. Not in the Hadith, not in the Quran, not anywhere. The only name is mentioned is the people of Israel. Even the Quran called them Israel. You believe it? If we go right now and we search in the Quran, how many times the word Israel repeated? Huh? Just do it right now. Search in English. And search in the same time how many times the word Israel, uh, uh, Palestine is repeated? Zero. Palestine. Endless. Let us search in English. Hmm? How many times? Do you see it? Why, why, why even the God of Islam, he named it Israel, and those are the children of Israel. And where is, where is Yazid Arafat in the Quran? In chapter 5, verse number 21, Allah, he said clearly that this is the land of the Jews. In chapter 2, verse 1 to 1 to 2, Allah Himself He said that they are the favorite people. You see, in this barking summit, they start saying that the Jews are fascist and Israel is a fascist country. They think they are the favorite. It's your God who says that you idiot stupid. It's your God, he says, I favor you. Special favor for you. Is that your Quran or this is the book of the Jews? And look how many times the Quran keeps saying that they are the favorite of God. Is that our translation? How many times the Quran keeps saying those are the favorite people? It's your book. In the top of that, if we go to chapter 5, verse number 21, we will see that the Quran say clearly that it is Allah order for the Israeli to enter the Holy Land and this is a land which is assigned to you.
Do you see it? Where is the Abdul? Where is the Muslims from reality and the truth? Even the yellow pages of Muhammad confirm that this is the land of the Jews. Read it. Oh, my people, enter the holy land which Allah has assigned to you. What more do you want? What more do you want exactly to prove that this? Who is the one who built Jerusalem, you idiots? Every rock is speaking of the honor of Jerusalem. Even what they call it, the rock of the doom or whatever, this is not even their temple. Even the rocks, you know, this is the Jewish temple and the rocks, they are brought from Lebanon. They brought the rock from the temple of Baal. This is how savage they are. In order to build a mosque, they destroyed Baal temple in Baal back in Lebanon. This is the truth. So, you know, wherever you go, I mean, history, the Bible, the Quran, you name it, all of them are speaking about one thing, that this is the land of the Jews. And you will see many of those who they call them, themselves liberals. Uh, you know, they, they, are, they are in bed with the Muslims. I mean, sometimes I ask myself, why always Muslims and liberals, uh, uh, you know, they are, they are like in the same agenda? Isn't it weird? What is making them together in bed? What they share together? Any Muslim, uh, any anyone from the Democrats can tell me why? Why the Muslims? They are together in in, in in the Muslims in one bed. Whatever make the Muslims happy, make the liberals happy, and whatever make the liberals happy, make the Muslims happy. And now you will see both of them. They are barking at Israel. Any Abdul? No Abdul. So they can, you know, I'm not really worried about those kind of summit. They are stupid and they are proving to us that uh, 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 Islamic religion is, is dead. You know, they, they, they speak about numbers. If I, if I take you right now to Turkey, do you know what Turkey is? This guy Erdogan, he claimed that he have an Islamic state. Turkey, number one business is a prostitution. Go right now to YouTube and search Turkey bars. What do you have in the Turkey bars? What exactly you will get in Turkey? I mean, it's a nation of hypocrisy. We believe in Allah, the Prophet Muhammad. This is number one drunk nation, drugs, prostitution, uh, 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 human trafficking. Uh, 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 human right is gone from long time. There's, it's history. But they give you speeches about religion. You see, what I notice always that the Muslims, when they speak about dignity, is the same as a whore speak about her virginity. This is the truth. I want to see, you know, why why Erdogan don't right now announced that he is going to close the usa base in turkey bro he is the american are occupying your land we have a big base in your land okay i want to see how brave you are i want to see him saying i don't want your money no more get out do he dare potatoes i mean trump is making the decision we will not need to show him that we are the strongest okay show him what you did you made a speech of farting let us let us see who fought more all of those who met in this summit what they did they made a speech 
That's it. So, you know, we, we know that your nation are a nation of speeches. You see, in the old days, Muhammad, when he was inva invading uh, 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 nations, he was making victory by speeches. Why? Because he make a speech about virgins who have a big vagina. Huh? And those savage, they go to war. But these days, nobody is convinced with the vagina. None of those Abdul, the only Abdul who are convinced about the vagina is the one who joined ISIS and Al-Qaeda already and the rest they are not convinced, that's why they did not join them. They believe that this is a fiction, it's a, it's a lie. Otherwise, all of them, they will do jihad. Why this summit did not announce jihad in USA? I want to know, if they are 57 nation, 57 nation, they cannot fight Israel? 57? How, how many? Is that a billion, a billion and a half? So a billion and a half leaders, they met together to make a speech about we fought. Too much beans. Let your beans help you, my friend. Israel is going, is here to stay. And Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Actually, you know what? If the Jews ever will give you Jerusalem, we will not let them do it. We will take it. For we have the right in Jerusalem more than anyone else after the Jews so if the Jews they will drop their right to have this city we will not let anyone take it not the Muslims if a man his name is Muhammad he saw a dream that he is a flying in the top of a mule and that will make him own the city well I saw many dreams a guy he saw a dream flying in the top of a flying donkey What a stupid people, man. I am not really worried about the Muslims because I know the Muslims always they talk and they never do anything. And they learn each time, each time they attack Israel, they lose the land. Do you know how they lost Jerusalem? Do you know how the Muslims lost Jerusalem? For those who do not know, go and read history. They are the one who attacked the Jews to kill the Jews and then they lose. Each time they attack the Jews, they lose more. I saw a documentary, and I believe you know, some people don't believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Do you know, guys, when the Muslims they attack Israel in the in the in the beginning of Israel, how many airplanes Israel used to have? Anyone knows? How many airplanes? Who knows? How many airplanes? They have zero. The Muslims from all Islamic countries, they send the army like, like ants. You know the ants? And the Jews are a small number. Until now they are a small number. We can't compare it to the Muslims. They have zero airplanes. There's two, two pilot from USA. They decide to cross the ocean overnight with two airplanes, very old airplanes. And for sure, we are talking about old days too. So they cross the ocean all the way to Israel. Two airplanes only. Those are not sent by USA government, no. Private, who owned private airplanes. This is, was the first air force of Israel. One of those airplanes was destroyed a week after. So they have now one. After that, the Arab, they would draw and they run the cowards because they thought that the Israeli, they have hundreds of those airplanes. So they run. But the fact they were advancing. And the Jews, they were so worried because they are outnumbered. And they don't have, you know, they have like normal guns. I mean, it's not a big deal. One airplane made the cowards run away. And Israel now is exist because of one airplane. Otherwise, the Muslims took it at that war. Just one. It's a miracle.
So, just I wanted to say, if you check in the internet and see how many speeches and how many summit the Muslims they have in the last, uh, uh, you know, 50, 60 years, English. How many times they said we want to take Jerusalem English? But not even one of them dare to fart at Israel. Too much beans, my friend. Too much beans. Too much gas. And you know, my, my experience with Muslims, they talk too much, but they do nothing. You know what I mean? They talk, they talk, endless talk. But I never saw the Muslims do anything. I mean, if you if you think about it, in the in the in the Middle East, you ask the Muslims why we don't have electricity because the president president or the king says, Inshallah, next year we will have uh, electric facility. Okay, why we don't have uh, schools? Inshallah, next year we will build more ski schools. Okay, why we don't have jobs? Inshallah, everything is Inshallah. This nation is a nation of inshallah and Allah is not exist. So Allah never will, inshallah. I mean Allah, Allah is willing. Allah is not is not a word mean a God as some stupid they think. Allah is a word and the name of the God of the Muslims, which contained two words, Al and La, the moon God. So inshallah, huh? we will do something. Okay, when this will happen. But in the same time, you will notice that the Muslims, they have a very fast decision to attack Yemen, as an example. Like Saudi, they were able to make uh, seven Islamic countries to join them in forces to attack the Muslims in Yemen. Muslims attacking Muslims, right away they join together. Right away, immediately. You know? But Muslims attacking Israel, they will never do it again because they learn their lesson. Each time we attack them, the God of the Jews beat the hell of us. This is the truth. And it doesn't matter how much they scream, how much they shout, nothing will be done. The king of Jordan himself, this potato, huh? this guy, he live by, his salary is paid by Israel. You see those, uh, those Muslim leaders, they have two faces. They have a face in front of their people claiming that they are uh, the, the one who protect their right, and we are the one who hate the Jews and etc. But behind the scene, there's a different story. Behind the behind the scene, all of them they are the puppet of the Jews. Why the king of Jerusalem of, of Jordan? Sorry, why he don't close his borders with Israel? Why he don't cut his ties with Israel? Why he don't close the, the Israeli embassy? Why he don't cancel his uh, agreement with the Jews? Why he don't close the the free area, which is the business area between Israel and the, and, the, and and Jordan? Because they live from Israel. They live, they live literally. Or Jordan is a dead country. They survive because of Israel, because the bones the Jews are giving to them. So speeches after speeches after you know, if you speak Arabic and you watch, you will die from laughing. I was listening and I was. It's a comedy, guys. I'm I'm working in my book. I'm not looking at the TV. But I'm listening to a comedy show. Everyone is like the hero. Like, you know, guys, Allahu Akbar in Jerusalem is our land. And for sure, we will not let them have it. And we confirm that this is the, the, the decision of a Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump. <laughs> they, are call, they are calling the infidel Mr. Trump. Call him, call him names, call him. I want to see you. I want to see you calling him something bad, man. What Mr. Trump? Huh? What, Mr. Trump, what does that mean exactly? How many summit we are going to see in the future? Millions. But none of the summits of the Muslims mean anything. They hate each other. This is a religion of hate. They hate in themselves. They hate their own citizen. Tons of thousands of their own citizens in jail just for political opinion. The same as we see in Turkey, in Jordan, in Saudi Arabia, in every Islamic country. All of them, they are dictators. 
all of them they have a false agenda to display and different agenda under the table all of them they are corrupt all of them they are Muslims which mean corrupt the second you say you are a Muslim you are corrupt automatically I never saw an Islamic country is not sinking in corruption and if you read the Islamic history you will see the first corrupt one is Muhammad do you remember when the Muslims accused Muhammad himself that he stole an underwear do you remember Imagine, imagine the Congress and the senators in USA are investigating the missing underwear with the Trump. This is how corrupt they are. Their prophet was accused of a stealing underwear. So, what do you think about the followers? Their prophet was accused of molesting boys. Their prophet was a husband of a child. Six years old, 55 years old, 54, and she was six in the Islamic calendar, which means she was five years old. What they shared together? Nothing but corruption, lost. Sexual desire for babies and children. They are corrupt to the bones. Even the Muslims, when they go, and even the decent Muslim, I mean, even the decent one, he joined not he joined jihad, not because he loved Allah, because he loved vagina. They are corrupt. They are driven by the power of vagina, peace upon her. The Muslims, they don't do jihad because they are decent. They do jihad because they are corrupt. They are vagina followers. For the sake of the vagina, it's the same as someone in drugs, for the same as the cocaine. So in order to get some cocaine, he is willing to do anything. You know, when Muhammad, he promised them, the beautiful vagina and he described his vagina the kind you can swim in it you can do hiking in it you can do diving in it you can do fishing in it I mean imagine the ass is one mile if not the Muslims are corrupt in their mind from the beginning how in the world somebody want to believe that there is a God is going to give me a woman her ass is one mile you know I mean what what those people can accomplish in the future who believe in such a garbage and I see that the summit is each one of those who they are in the summit his ass is bigger than the ass described by Muhammad about the ass of Muslim women in heaven one mile ass each one of them he have big speeches talk too much say nothing do nothing we eat shish kebab we eat hummus we have a five stars hotels and now we flee back to our country and what our people they will say to us hey, uh, president what you did what you did in this summit he will say to them we shout at the jews in the front of the tv i swear by allah did you see me in the camera here we go i am here there i'm saying jerusalem is our land Yeah, and the other guy, he said, let us be God. He want to punish America. If you saw my previous video, he want to punish America by stop buying Viagra. I mean, do you see how they want to fight America by their penises? So what they will do? America, we will not buy your Viagra no more, and our penis will go to... And look, look how threat, how big it is. The guy, the head of the, the Islamic pharmacies in the Islamic countries, he said, we are number one Viagra customers. Well, they are what? I mean, aren't you ashamed even to say it that we are number one Viagra customers? Well, I, I understand. Your prophet himself, he needed Viagra, and Allah is the first one who brought him Viagra. If you remember the hadith where Muhammad said, I was the most weak person between all mankind, and I invoke my God, Allah, and He sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it, I get the power of 40 men. And I'm not sure why 40 men. You see, in this summit, there is 57 people. None of them, I mean, if we put them all together, they will not have even the power of the penis of the Prophet. Even though the hadith says 40, huh? but uh, trust me, the penis of the Prophet is more powerful than the 57 people there.
for a reason he is a prophet of Allah and he ate the shish kebab of Allah so his penis is very powerful and not to forget to mention that Muhammad he shares some of the shish kebab with his daughter uh, Fatima so Fatima now she have the power of 40 men in sex Oof, I don't want to see Fatima I'm scared a woman she have the power of 40 men in bed I mean that's where that is something I don't want to get married ever and that's a scary you see even their power is about sex is not about and then we find that even their sex is fake he will go they are number because if they are really powerful even in sex they will not be number one buyers for Viagra even the hadith says that the Prophet he imagined himself having sex with his wife but in fact he did not so those people like now they imagine they imagine they had sex with the Jews, but in fact, they were having sex together. What this summit is about, you made us laugh and we are laughing. I want to show, I want to show everybody that those are a bunch, you see, they speak about numbers and most of them, they speak about numbers, but they are, they are fake. All of them, they are fake. They, they bark, they shout. They, they burn cars in the street because they are covered they are burning their own cars not of none of those cars are the cars of the Jews they are savage that's all so you know I don't have really much to say I just wanted to share this video with you uh, feel free to share it with your friends uh, you know uh, for those who do not know we do three time in three days podcasting in a fixed time today I could not make it in 4 30 because my four wives they were in the summit you know my four Muslim wives they were in the summit they were submitting their uh... <laughs> anyway uh, so uh, we will be here again at uh, Friday at 4 30 that is for sure and again I apologize for not being here at 4 30 today I was really busy um, and uh, I hope the Muslims will make more summit in the future and the more summit you do the more we make barbecue please increase the number of those summits you know when when people this they, they, they hear that the Islamic nations they are going to make a summit you will wonder what they will do like what 57 president they are meeting what do you think will happen they will launch a war in Israel brother what do you think ah brother we are Muslims <laughs> we will never do it again with the Jews we learned our lesson we could not make it with the Jews when the Jews were very weak Israel today is a superpower is not you see the stupidity of some they think or they count the power of a nation by the population well if this is true America is not really that big a number you know and there is no reason for America to be the most powerful nation on earth based on numbers no Israel have an equal power to all super nations if not more as actually I know for sure that even China buy the Israeli technology USA buy the Israeli technology and USA itself one of the reasons we were we were able to finish the second war too with Hitler it was the Jews maybe in different program I will talk about it more because those who make our nukes they were not Muslims most of them they were Jewish scientists very smart people and good for them and they deserve the land for this is their land and there's no question about it and we should not hesitate to support them if they are a small tiny number doesn't mean that we should not stand with them there's many hypocrites they stand with the big number because they have a business with them business with Emirat, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait etc rich countries but their richness is their poorness those countries are corrupt to the bones 
and one of the source of corruption is the money they have you see money when it comes to a nation who have a civil background they advance with it they do something with it when you bring it to the savage they abuse it and they use it in the wrong way so their money was not a blessing for them the same it was a blessing for the Jews Israel today is a superpower and nobody dare to say I'm going to fight Israel and I challenge the 57 countries to wear to wage war against Israel ask yourself why they are not doing it and you will find the answer right in the front of your eyes they are so weak and Israel is so strong thank you for watching I may the Lord bless you all and if you are from Israel Shalom my friend say Shalom to everybody and stand firm and defend your land and don't let the, the potato intimidate you by screaming and shouting and I know you are not waiting for my advice but say Shalom from me for everybody in Israel may the Lord bless Israel for it's a blessed land for the land is the land of the Lord before it was the land of the Jews this is the land of the Lord our Lord and the Muslims have nothing to do with it in order to take that land you have to fight our Lord and you will never win you are a loser already a long time ago Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that and see you soon again bye bye